Next item on our list is our water pump. Now on the water pump there's two portions. You actually have your pump and then you have your quarter inch tubing that's attached to a special fitting that screws into the top of the water pump. <clears throat> also if you open up your water pump you can see that there's a filter inside that actually filters out any gunk that may accumulate in your water and prevents it from clogging your filter and ultimately your drip lines and drip heads. You should take this filter out and wash it um, under running water in your sink usually about every month to two months. Okay, now insert your filter back in. Attach it inside your pump. It simply clips in place. Now, <clears throat> at this point you need to uh, remove the zip ties that are holding your pump together when it originally came shrink wrapped. <clears throat> now take the screw in portion and screw it into the top of your water pump. Once again, it's just a friction fit. You don't have to screw too tight. Now, at this point, you also want to remove the zip tie or the um, or the tie wrap that's attached around your power cord. And just like we did with the air pump, we're going to take the cord from the water pump and run that through the back of the unit through the grommet hole. If you notice, he actually took that cord and put it through the underside of the lid first before removing it, sticking it through the back of the grommet. This is because the actual pump itself goes inside the reservoir and the water pump is fully submerged. It is actually placed in the water. There's no shock hazard. It's UL approved and completely sealed. Now at this point, what you're going to do is take the tubing from your water pump and connect it to the T on your drip lid. Once again, this too is a friction fit. Just press it in place and then stick your water pump anywhere in the reservoir. There's actually four suction cups on the bottom uh, to hold it in place wherever you wish. Um, <clears throat> there's also uh, additional slack inside the, with the, connecting the pump to the lid through the tubing. And this is um, so that you can access your water reservoir, check on your plant roots, and uh, ultimately do water changes down the road. Now you want to ensure that when everything's set up as well that the power cord associated with the water pump is not wrapped around uh, your flow valve as you can see is starting to happen here. Um, just make sure that it's out of the way and, and not causing any kind of uh, obstruction.